today. Yes. Beets were uh, something that tribes uh, still, in fact, do. Today. This was a town back in the days, right? right I mean, like 1830s. 1836. The kitchen here, you see that the fireplace and all this plate and uh, spoons. So, so it's very, very, very close to our Northeast uh, lifestyle. All right, uh, ladies and gentlemen, we are back with another video. So welcome back to our channel. Uh, and then we are here in the Coniferi. And I'm gonna ask Emma to explain uh, what this place is all about. And this is very beautiful. And Emma have worked here being a shepherd, right? Uh, yeah, with the, the animals in the barn. Yeah, yeah. but uh, it's pretty windy. So we look for a place where we can sit and explain you a little bit before we continue with our vlog, okay? Hey honey, uh, explain a little bit about this place, the Conner Prairie. Um, Conner Prairie is like a, it's an interactive history museum. So they have different sections. This is the Lenape camp. So it's 1816, the year 1816. Mm -hmm. And they have it set up in there and they have some people like dressed in that way. And they kind of tell you like about the lifestyle of the time. And then like here they have the barn so you can pet the animals in the barn. And then over there is Prairie Town, which is um, 1836. So they have actors that are dressed up in like the year 1836 attire and you can go in their houses and they're baking things and like, it's like a town or a village. Yeah. And then far over there is, I think 1863, which is Civil War. All right, so you hear Emma, right? So this is my first time, but for Emma, she's been here uh, couple of times so she knows better but I hope you enjoy watching this video too so we are going to two culture one land uh, in 1816 so we'll go and explore and maybe Emma can explain more and more and we are inside yeah and this is the map that they give us here we are today beach were uh, something that tribes uh, still, in fact, do today for their own tribal regalia. Uh, but a long time ago, since actually every culture in the entire world does beadwork of some kind, uh, these beads in earlier times you had to make by hand. So at first, tribes here were making lump of beads from seashell, which you had to crack, shape, cut, and drill by hand. Then you had uh, carved wood beads called runtees. Still had to carve them one at a time. Same thing with the clay beads. But when the fur trade started, fur traders after 1600 began uh, to bring over these from Europe. That's what the Europeans were using, glass beads. So these are glass, so they don't break or fade. Plus, you don't have to make these. Yeah. They're already made. Three types of beadwork on a bead loom. You could do linear, any length, any width, any design, any color. So we're talking belts, sashes, straps, bags, knee ties, belt bags, hat bands, headbands, bracelets of any color, any design. So the one that we just saw uh, just now, <laughs> it's all about the you know, necklace, how this uh, Indians uh, you know, use as a traditional. And I'm not talking about us Indian, okay? I'm talking about those uh, red Indians, right? The, who are here uh, the before. The native people of this yeah. country. And this is how their kitchen looks like, uh, those Indians. And honestly, guys, uh, it's very similar to our Northeast uh, lifestyle. Like we just saw the necklace, right? Are very familiar. Uh, sorry, uh, very... Is this familiar? Yeah. Yeah, uh, familiar or similar? Uh, similar, uh, that's what I'm trying to word, uh, I don't describe. And the kitchen here, you see that the fireplace and all this plate and uh, spoons. So, so it's very, very, very close to our Northeast uh, lifestyle. This is a nice brew. Yeah. My grandma used to have one like that. So, it's good to know uh, that you know the, these Indians have lived the life that we know we are still living till today. So, yeah, I think, and this is the bed <laughs> again. Like, like you know, you, you all can relate it to me. See yes, that we straw. use like this still today in the village. You know, we put and it's, uh, the bed is rope. With bed. rope, yeah. So rope is the base. What do you think, Peanut? And obviously the wooden house like this. See. Yeah, it's like a layer of wood, mud, wood, mud. Mm. This is an actual house that was built around the time. 
Um, a lot of these houses were transported to the property, but they're original, originally built um, during the time. Does that make sense? Yeah. All right. Uh, moving on to a different place. I think she's sleepy now. Anyway, uh, walking toward uh, the other side now. We just talked uh, to two of the uncles here. Uh, the, uh, they were very nice and I took some pictures. And the pictures are going to be very cool, trust me. They are literally wearing the you know, red Indians uh, traditional, right? And they explain us quite a lot, a lot of uh, historicals about uh, red Indian as well. And this is where Emma uh, worked before, right? Uh -huh. uh, that the barn area. The barn area and all the sheep are here. I also used to work inside the building sometimes, mm -hmm. like in the kids area, but mostly in the barn. Okay. Very beautiful place, you know, big space and a good thing that you can walk around. It's more like uh, it's more like on the forest, you know. See all this are all forest and between the forest there are a few different houses, you know. Here are the goats, the white one. There's more on the other side as well. It seems we have to stay a little quiet here, so I won't be speaking, okay? <laughs> Look at the babies. They're, I think they are newborn baby, right? Uh, what do you call them? Uh, the baby. Hmm? What do you guys call them? Uh, not goat, kids. No, oh, I'm talking about the yeah, sheep. Kids. Kids. Uh -huh. hmm. Baby goats are called kids. Oh, the baby goats are called kids. So, for the first time, I'm hearing. And hey, cutie. And here we have more outside sheep and the goats are together those all white ones are all sheep hey 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 see all the sheep uh -huh. i think the baby the kids are looks more cute right yeah. <laughs> look at that one see the the difference in the sh the baby the yeah lambs and the the, kids. yeah so our next uh house is going to be this red one Let's go in the loom house. Ah, uh, loom house first. Okay. So this is the loom house. You'll find this familiar. Yeah. Uh, many things are very familiar to what you know that uh, our nagas or the north is you know state, like the way we raise uh, you know animals here. Yeah. See? Yeah. yeah. It's very familiar. Yeah. Like, yeah. like these are more by used by those Assamese. You know the uh, what they call garo, you know boro and. Uh, yeah, that's Katsari, really yeah, so yeah, and these are all the stuff that they use. Jared, do you, is this familiar? Like yeah. a spinning wheel? Mm -hmm. Yeah. You guys spin like that? Yeah. People still do that till today. Cool, cool. Do you want to say a little, little bit about uh, this house? So this is the Connor house. This is William Connor. He, so he built it. This is original to the property. So this is where he built it. And so the inside is kind of maintained. Mm -hmm. um, so we'll see. But he had like a lot of children, I think. So wow. It seems more. he have a lot of children. So when we go inside, I think the house inside will explain more. Yeah. So let's go and yeah. see what is inside. And this is how the house looks like from inside. I believe these are all for children play. Yes, those are yeah, all. It's very nice, well maintained till today. We'll go to next. This is the kitchen. And all these are original, okay? This was the original house, but now they use it for like more like a museum, right? Right. So most of the house is maintained like all this floor, this brick, brick this in the kitchen. Brick. Okay. But like these things, the table, that's obviously. I mean, not. these are fake, but right. they're right. just they're just uh, uh, demonstrating that this is how it looks like, you know. Yeah. Yeah. But the others are all real, you know. Yeah. Look at these guns. 
Yeah. Let's go upstairs and uh, see more. Imagine when you get up there that uh, you're sleeping with seven children. Seven children. Seven okay. children. Two adults plus cats. Okay. So. All right. <laughs> So, um, Mr. and Mrs. Connor, Mr. and Mrs. Connor had seven children total. And so think about, these are the two rooms that they could sleep in. So think the parents and seven children, and then the guests had to stay somewhere too. So mm -hmm. it's a lot of people yeah. to stay in just two rooms, right? But this is a very nice house. Look at this bed. This looks like Kimmy bed. <laughs> the bed, this is an old fashioned rope bed. Mm -hmm. so it's I, I noticed, yeah. This must be the cloth that she wear. Yeah, this would be something that- uh, Something Elizabeth something like that she'll be wearing. In 1825. 1825, wow. And this is what the women would wear underneath the clothes. This whole white, would be considered underwear. Okay. Oh yeah, we have seen that in the movies and all as well, right? You yes. wear this and then they were the outside uh, this one again. So, so this is like the corset. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Seen that. And this must be like a family, uh, you know, uh, pictures up there. Uh, they're screaming from the projector. Yeah. And also the red Indians here. Anyway, moving on to another room. And this is also a children room. Look at this bed. Right here. Small bed. Mm -hmm. Blankets. House is very nice though. Yeah, it is. It is a very nice house. I'm still very impressed that man with the maintenance. Yes. I like the windows, how the windows look. Yes, it's very pretty. I always like, you know, with the wooden windows, when you use the, you know, the iron bar, I feel like, you know, uh, the the house and the iron bar doesn't go along on my eyes. So I always like the, the wooden frame. Yeah. So maybe one day when we have our own house, when we build our own house, yeah. we'll use more wood. Because woods make it more beautiful. So the Connor family, they started out in a log cabin just like this. Okay. So this is kind of a prototype of what it would look like. Um, the original Connor house, I think, is a little bit that way. The the first one, the lot. The first one, okay. Is over there. And then um, they build this small. one. So all of them were in just one small room, oh. and then they built this house afterwards. Oh, makes so sense. So they used to live in a cabin like this. Okay. All the children. Are all the children and everything, all the kitchens and rooms and everything is just still here. So anyway, it's good knowledge. So we just came out from the Coniperi house. Check this out, the view from uh, the outside. This is all going to be a field, cornfield maybe? Yeah, this is a cornfield. This is the cornfield, you in can see. In the fall time, the corn is high and they cut a maze into it and mm -hmm. you can go and search your way through the corn. Yeah, so that'll be great, but again, going back. Oh, by the way, I'm going back next week. I'm coming back to India next week on Friday. So I'll be in Delhi for two, three days. I think three days, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I'm gonna miss this too, though. But we'll talk about that uh, more. But today is all about exploring uh, this museum, this Conan Perry Museum. Think about all ten of their children. I know. Out here. So ten of the children. The first wife was six or seven. Six children. Six, and then second wife is ten. So all sixteen children. So anyway, long story. This is how the house looked like, you know, from the behind. Here. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Okay, ready so to we... go to Prairie Town? Yes. Okay, let's so go. ready. We are here in the town. I don't know if this was a town back in the days, right? right this I mean, is like 1836. 1836. Yes. So, I mean, not today, but this is how the town looks like. We just went to this store. That's where they sell all this, you know, like a kind of Russian, like all this household yeah. sugar and drinks and stuff like that. And the wagon will the wagon. bring the merchandise. They right? will bring the merchandise. Yeah, so this is how the town looks like. There are a few more houses the other side. We'll go there first, but let's go in here. And I don't know what this house is. The blacksmith. The blacksmith, the okay. Period. Okay, let's the see. Oh, okay, the metal, okay. Nice, look at this. Hey, good afternoon. Wow, it's amazing. 
I know. These are all different tools. This one for the horse that we use, right? Uh, yeah. Interesting. Amazing. Something like that they still do in Jaluki one of the place. Just, uh, just working on a fork. A okay, fork. a fork. Oh. Okay. I'm finished with it. I'm just sort of working on straightening it up and mm -hmm. smoothing it out a little. Okay. Nice. Right. Amazing. Hmm. I got a bad news. Got a bad news, why? I got a bad news for everyone. Well, we were happy vlogging, talking, and suddenly <laughs> the work of evil. Just kidding. Uh, you see this phone? My ROZ that I was using for past a year and a half now broke. Uh, the display came out and the screen is also gone you can see the screen that is well it's pretty bright i'll show you guys later okay uh yeah this is how the town looks like from the other side okay i guess we are going to downtown now to we'll see if we can fix this the phone is gone i have no problem a little sad but all my data all my contact all the information that is here even my personal you know uh, password and all it was all in my phone and it's all gone if I couldn't you know uh, recover this uh, I don't know what will happen next <laughs> but anyway uh, let's hope for the best that we can find right peanut and peanut just awake okay he did good okay all right let's keep walking hey, peanut. well we are back in our car again but let me show you papa phone okay here see do you see papa phone so this is what my phone looked like right now uh, so all the display is gone <laughs> peanut i cannot take a picture anymore what do we do unless we fix this bag <laughs> yeah this is the roz gaming phone the asus anyway so we will go to Noblesville, maybe Emma can find where to fix. We'll see if we can fix. I, it doesn't matter if we can fix or not fix, but I guess the whole point is I want you now everything, everything to restore back all my data because there are some important, you know, my work documents are still there. So that's the whole reason why I want it to be resurrected since the Easter, Easter Sunday is coming. So I want my phone also to be resurrected again from the dead <laughs> all right um anyway well there are still a few more places that we can explore but she was awake and also the phone spoiled and to be really honest my mood was a little off you know to on the camera and to vlog around and uh, but nevertheless i guess let's continue to keep a good spirit and we decided to come out early so that we can also go and look it up you know how to fix the phone so yeah so we'll go and see we'll update you guys again and now i'm thinking where to edit this video as well okay because i normally edit from my phone i don't like editing from the computer but i uh, will figure out now all right peanut <laughs> oh peanut oh my daughter daughter peanut mm. you're happy to be home <laughs> all right Oh well guys, uh, we are home now, just came back home 5 minutes ago, <sighs> let me take a deep breath, well, let me just update you guys uh, about my phone, so we went to a servicing, not a Asus servicing, just you know, normal phone repairing servicing and they said uh, they cannot fix this phone because it's not like you know other normal phone i mean it is a phone but it's also a gaming phone and they don't have the enough uh facilities or they don't know how to fix this kind of phone so they said they cannot and even in Silong, there's no place where we can fix this i know and i don't know if anyone watching from delhi 
if you know where i can fix this phone the asus roz 3 do let me know it will be very helpful i'll try to fix it when i'm in delhi i'm i'm going to be in delhi for three days so help me out to fix this phone okay anyway uh you can always reach out to me on instagram and also for the people's no whatsapp no calls if you want to reach out to me use my you know instagram and send me a message or also in uh facebook messenger so i'm always there so yeah keep loving keep supporting that was it for today we had a good day except in the end a little bit of you know honestly my mood was a little off but now i'm good with a good spirit so uh what can i say right gone is gone so let's move on Pew! so uh and uh, peanut is ready to take another round of nap and hopefully maybe i also take a nap so if you like this video give me a thumbs up so signing off from jerry and emma